Hello everybody! Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more of The Legend of Zelda, The Minish Cap. Uh, last time we uh, started climbing Mount Krennel and we're actually pretty high up. I think we're like at the like very top of the mountain pretty much. Heck, we're actually higher than where we actually need to be, so we'll, uh, we'll find a way down there for sure. But yeah, let's go ahead and keep on adventuring. We have some rain we're dealing with now, but we have to figure out ways to... Uh, you know, get over there, because we can't go through these little um, impediments here. So, obviously the answer is to shrink ourselves and uh, go down this way. Now keep in mind, the oh god, these raindrops are like boulders to water to us, kid. Watch out. If one of them hits us, it'll sting something fierce. So yeah, these are basically boulders you have to look out for, even though they're droplets of rain, so keep that in mind. But thankfully, we're done with them now. So let's go ahead and do this next part. We need to fill in the holes with the rocks that roll. Which, there you go, a little uh, Link's Awakening reference there for you. For those who remember that in the Turtle Rock Dungeon. Okay, I can do that. I want to make sure I could actually walk through that before I push this any further. Can I, let me check something. Can you pull this? No, you can only push these, so keep that in mind. If you end up uh, pushing it against a like wall and you can't get it out, you have to like reset the room, unfortunately. But yeah, with that puzzle solved, we can actually go down here and uh, see what else we can find. Oh, we got more of those little Helmosaur guys. Better get out our Gust Jar. Oh, yeah, give me that, please. <laughs> I was hurt pretty badly, not gonna lie. Okay, so right here we have a little bit of a puzzle. I mean, Zelda games are pretty much all puzzles when you think about it, but... Well, not all puzzles. Combat and puzzle and adventuring. You know, Zelda's quite the triple threat. Maybe even more than triple, I don't know. Um, so I think we want to push... I don't think it matters which way I push this. I think I want to push this down, and then I want to go back. Push you. Push... Oh, okay, hold on. Can I at least push this over here? Yes, okay. We're good. We figured it out. We did the thing got more of these guys. See, if you're clever, you can actually pull up a number of the rocks if you just, like, you know, stru structure your gust jar in just the right way. Usually if you're, like, in between two of the uh, columns or rows, you can do that. Okay, so right here, uh, not necessarily that, but like right here, before you use this mushroom, get rid of those pots. And now you can do this. Whee! Oh, oh, okay, you have to actually pull that. Yeah, you can't just use the uh, gust jar for everything. Sometimes you have to just pull it. It's like playing bop it, just, you know, without the bop it or the twist it. You gotta pull it, you know? Why am I talking about bop it? <laughs> why? 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 Um, of all the times to start talking about, you know, the toy bop it. Okay, um, nah. Anything here that's worth it? It's that's one thing you can do. You can also use the gust jar to pull in consumables too, so keep that in mind. 
Um, do I need, like... I think I can use bombs for this. Remember, you can throw bombs. You've needed them for other things so far, so... It's just kind of nice, because, like, I mean, we, we don't really have, like, that many items, but I feel like we've made good use of all of them. Like, we've had the shield for, like, all the business scrubs. We've had the bombs for blowing up walls and hitting stuff from a distance. We've had the gust jar for solving gust jar puzzles. Heck, even the shield. Like, we've had a couple of business scrubs, too, so... I think the game does a pretty good job of uh, utilizing all of its equipment. And that is honestly pretty cool. Okay, more rolling rock puzzles. This is actually a bit longer than I remember this section being. I, I was kind of hoping like we'd be done with the Mount Crenel climbing <laughs> in the last video, but nope, still moving. I will say, sometimes, like, the overworld sections in between dungeons can be kind of lengthy. Especially, like, after this uh, next part, where it's like, I feel like there's a lot of, like, side questy stuff that you'll have to do. And hey, I, I don't mind a good side quest or anything, but, you know, just in general, sometimes it seems like it can be kind of lengthy in between dungeons. So if you're someone who's, like, exclusively about the dungeons, like, there is a little bit you'll have to sit through in between each one, but I wouldn't say it's, like, too much. Okay, well, I think we actually made it to uh, the mine here, after we go through this valley, anyway. I also noticed that we're at full health again, which is nice. I don't... I don't exactly remember when we went back to full health, but I do not mind in the least bit. This means I won't die anymore. I mean, I didn't die before, but... Yeah, no. Okay, so we do that. Go down here. We are in Malari's Mine, so we've made it. We've made it to the, uh, the mining minish community. Ting along, tong along, dig along for iron. Ting along, tong along, dig down, dig around, dig the ground for iron. I guess they're digging for iron. This mine belongs to Malari and us, his seven apprentices. Do you ting along, tong along, all this long way to get your sword repaired? The boss is down in the lowest level. I'm thinking here is just like, oh hey, it's like, it's like Snow White and the Seven Minish or something. <laughs> Where does Malari sleep? Probably like on a bunch of rocks or something, I don't know. Maybe he sleeps in the kitchen or something. Ting tong, tong along, deep down, dig down, dig joy in the ground. Ooh, another little workstation, I guess. If you head outside from here, you can go see the mine the humans dug. But the boss doesn't let anyone go in there without his permission. Okay, well, we better get his permission first. Let's talk to these guys first. Ting a tong, ting along, tong along. Oh, you're the second best. Are you the third best? I'm no less than the third best. Okay, so you're the third then. And then you must be the best. Green clothes and an odd hat? Sir, might you be young Slim? I am Malari, Mastersmith. I hear you want me to reforge the sacred sword and help break a curse. I'll be needing the old sword, which holds the power of the elements first. Show me that broken Pakori blade. I love all this adventure, what with the rescuing of princesses and such. I'd be happy to reforge this thing into a brand new sacred blade for you. It'll take me a while to rework your sword. In the meantime, you should track down the missing elements. One of them should be in the mine, the humans dug. It's not far from here. 
All right, let's get started. <clears throat> There'll be a while, Slim. Let's leave them to it and find that element. Sounds like a good excuse to do more dungeon diving, I think. What? You're going to the mine? If you talk to the boss, I won't stop you, but be careful. Okay, so let's do it. Also, hey, look, it's one of those grave things that we saw earlier. Oh, let's take care of that. <clears throat> hey, that stone marker crumbled, and there's another one of those symbols. You know, no matter how many times I see that happen, it still rattles me. Don't worry, Ezlo. You'll find out more about that later. But here we are. We're in the Cave of Flames. Wow, it's hot in here. Come on, let's not stand around wasting time. Find that element so we can get out of here. Yep, so we're in kind of a lava dungeon now. But yeah, there's uh, lots of things to do. We got... Oh, we got the... We got the bomb enemies from uh, Link's Awakening. It's kind of cool that they're actually back. You gotta be careful though. I swear, they kind of home in on you a little bit. They're like really good at their job. <laughs> they're very, very good at their job, in fact. Let's go ahead and blow this open. Oh, okay, we're gonna need the shield for these. And kind of like I was saying earlier, like, you know, we use the shield to fight these guys. Your sword won't make a dent in their thorny armor. Flip them over before you strike. Yeah, I already did that. A little slow to the draw there. Um, as low. So, you got the compass. Use it to find the locations of hidden items. Okay, so we got the compass. That's good. Um, I want to say this just goes to the room above where we started. Oh yeah, that just gives us kind of a preview of what's up here. Now, look up here, because this is uh, quite obviously a trap. We got one of those like-likes. And I believe if like-likes get you, they will actually suck out your rupees. But I think if they do that, if you kill them fast enough, you can still get your rupees back. So it's not like... You know, hopeless or anything, but just, you know, be careful, obviously. Okay, more of the bomb guys. I swear, they, they, they seriously home in on you sometimes, it feels like. Ah, oh, come on. I evaded that. Don't be like that, game. Do not be like that. Yeah, this dungeon's pretty cool. It actually gives me a lot of vibes of, like, Oracle of Ages and Seasons because they have these, like, trolley tracks. And you kind of ride those little trolley cars around like you did in that game. It's kind of the same idea. <clears throat> the only difference is I think the animation's, like, a lot faster, so it's kind of... kind of funny taking a look at that whenever it's relevant. Okay, boom. You. This must be what the humans who built this mine used to get around here. Maybe we should hop in. Hmm? What? After all this, you don't expect me to believe you're scared. There's nothing to be afraid of here. Come on, let's go. <coughs> oh, man. It's sometimes hard doing, like, those slight little voice modifications when, <laughs> you know, you kind of have, like, a bit of a cough going on. Sweet jumping jellyfish! That was awful! Hey kid, what are you smiling about? I knew it was madness to risk our lives in that rickety human contraption. From now on, let's just stick to our feet. Well, I mean, your feet. Come on, you were the one that wanted to do that, Ezlo. Don't give me that. We know you liked it. We know you enjoyed it. I'm trying to hit him with the... Ha! Missed me. Come on, come on. Oh, I was kind of hoping they'd actually blow up the wall. So I wouldn't have to switch to my bombs. 
Nope, can't be that easy. Can't be that easy. Oh god. Where'd you guys come from? How oh, interesting. So there was a portal hidden away in here, hmm? Whenever you want me to shrink you down, just hop up here and press R. Okay. Let's see. What do we got in here? Well, that's definitely going to be treated like a pit, so we're not going that way. Another minecart, so we can't do anything here. There's a piece of heart, but we can't get that either. And we're going all the way around here. Okay, well, it looks like we do have an item here, though, so we need to find a way to turn back into normal size. And thankfully, this should actually do the trick. Let's see, we can use the. Uh, use our fabled gust jar to get rid of these flames. Truly this was the Cave of Flames. Okay, so we found the map. We'll go ahead and take a look at that really quick. I think this map is definitely bigger than the previous map. Man, look at this floor. <laughs> this floor is a lot going on. We got everything on the first floor, though, but we're still looking through this floor, obviously. So naturally, we'd still be, you know, missing some things. Okay. Yeah, these uh, these platforms will sink if you stay on them too long, so keep that in mind. Oh my, it looks really, really hot in that lava. Trust me, falling into that would be a bad idea. I'm sure you agree. Yeah, you could, you could say that. What did that do? I don't know what that did, but it did something. Ouch. Okay, well at least I touched the ground before I touched the lava. So for these guys, we can actually throw these guys into the holes. I'll throw this one in that one just so we can get this. 50 rupees! You must be very happy. I am, but I'm also a little concerned, admittedly. Because again, I don't want to, like, waste all these rupees this early. It's like I need to get back to town to buy stuff, like, immediately. <laughs> That's probably, like, the first thing I'll do, is, like, when I get back to town, is just spend on everything, just so I can, you know, get everything I want. Um, so right here, let's, uh, jump in this tornado. And see, not only does this remind me of, like, Wind Waker, it also reminds me of, like, uh... Uh, Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, which did come out a year before this game, so definitely some similarities there, too. Okay, I think this is going to be a small key. Yeah. So we can actually use a small key to get back to where we were before. Um, how do I, oh, I have to hit this button. Okay. See, this will take us quite literally back to the section we were at before. Uh, let me check one thing. Can I go any further? Right, this is right. This is where I shrunk before, so I don't need this. I need to go back the other way and go back to that la locked door that we found previously. Okay. 
See, but now we can hit this switch, and that'll actually change the track. So we ride it again, and we'll go somewhere new now. I still want to get that uh, piece of heart, though. I have not forgotten about that. Um, okay, we're still doing good on items. That next floor, though, we're going to be like going all over the place to make sure we get everything, though. Oh no! Well, that'll prevent us from making any progress. At least for right now, anyway. Okay. Now, if you remember from uh, what we saw earlier, I believe this will actually lead us to that piece of hearts. Indeed. Oh wow, we only need one more to get another heart container. That's pretty sweet. They do kind of throw like a lot at you, I think, early game though, so it's not too surprising. Okay, so we got that. Let's jump down here. I think I remember what exactly we have right here. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, shoot. Well, I messed this up terribly. I was supposed to actually hit them. Okay. Yeah, get over there. I want to see if I can destroy them all with, like, one bomb. Or hit them all with one bomb. That ended up being not a great idea. It's okay. We took care of him. We took care of him. And I think we're going to get the dungeon item right here. Say hello to the cane of Pocky. This mystical rod has the power to flip things over. Use it to charge up energy in holes and then flip up on out of it. So yeah. <clears throat> we do have another one of the canes. Uh, we had Samaria and Berna in a previous Zelda game. But here we have the cane of Pocky, which... It's not really a combat item, it's more of a utility item. We'll mostly be using it for, like, solving puzzles, not really for combat, but there are some aspects of it that can be used in combat as well, so... You know, don't want to rule it out completely. But mainly you'll be using it for, uh, stuff like this. Which is still pretty cool, honestly, so... It's a pretty, pretty nifty item, I guess you could say. But now that we have the Cane of Pocky, we can actually use it on this trolley car. And we can actually use this now. So that'll allow us to get over here and get this item, which is probably going to be a small key, if I had to guess. Yep. Okay. We can go back up here. We need to go back to the beginning of the dungeon. You can use that. But I think we're going to keep on moving. And I think we're actually done with the second floor. Or the first basement floor, rather. And now we're in, like, the final few rooms. Which there's, again, a lot going on here. So, first and foremost, we need to wait. We need to get the trolley car back before we use this. And it looks like we need to be small. So we'll see if... Uh... Oh, wait, shoot. I didn't mean to do that. Go back on. Go back on that. Okay. Yep, we're gonna need that, too. So ignore those little things that are on the ground. They'll actually be active when you become huge again. They can't notice you now. But now that we're big, they will actually come after you. Yeah. 
And there we go. And we're going to switch this over. going to ride this down here. Uh, did we actually miss anything? I mean, there's stuff in those that room above, but we'll be in that room anyway. Uh, I think I'm actually going to stop right here. Um, I know that we're close to being done, but this next room is going to be a big one, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and save the boss for the next video. So uh, This has been Slim Kirby. This has been The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time when we finish The Cave of Flames. Later, folks.